ATLP 120X BT USB is a fully manual direct drive turntable that adds the convenience of Bluetooth wireless connectivity along with a USB output for sending a digital signal to a Mac or PC computer. It includes a lightweight head shell with pre-installed and aligned AT VM95E cartridge. The turntable's built-in phono preamp allows it to be used with a wide range of amplifiers, powered speakers, and receivers. Before the turntable can be used, it needs to be set up. Carefully unpack the turntable and verify that you have all of the parts and accessories. Position the turntable chassis on a sturdy surface. Install the platter and make certain it is fully seated. Place the felt mat on the platter. Next, assemble the tone arm. Remove the twist tie and protective foam. Temporarily secure the tone arm to its rest with the locking clamp. Attach the head shell with pre-installed AT VM95E cartridge by inserting it into the tone arm socket. While holding the head shell, rotate the locking ring counterclockwise. As the ring rotates, it pulls the head shell into its seated position. Tighten carefully. Install the counterweight. Make certain the stylus force gauge dial is oriented toward the front. As you rotate the counterweight, it will thread onto the tone arm. Now we will balance the tone arm, set the tracking force, and adjust the anti-skate for the ATVM95E cartridge. This important process allows the cartridge to track properly, and failure to do so can cause the stylus to wear prematurely and possibly damage your records. First, set the anti-skate adjustment knob to zero. Remove the stylus protective cover. Slide it straight forward off the front of the cartridge, exposing the stylus. While gently holding the head shell to stabilize the tone arm, release the locking clamp. At this point, the tone arm is unbalanced and can easily swing. Be careful not to let the stylus drag across the bladder. While gently holding the head shell, rotate the counterweight until the tone arm is horizontally balanced. It should hover freely, just above the platter, and not touch the platter surface. Once the tone arm is balanced, without touching the counterweight, carefully move the tone arm to its rest and secure it with the locking clamp. Now set the stylus tracking force. Every cartridge has a recommended tracking force. Setting the tracking force too light can cause the stylus to skip out of the groove on loud or dynamic passages. Setting it too heavy can cause excessive wear on the stylus and records, resulting in audio distortion or channel imbalance. For the ATVM95E cartridge, the recommended tracking force is 2 grams. Locate the stylus force gauge dial on the front of the counterweight. Marked with numbers and lines indicating different tracking forces, the dial rotates independently from the counterweight. Without turning the counterweight, carefully rotate the gauge dial until the zero on the dial lines up with a center line mark on the top of the tone arm. Now set the tracking force by rotating the entire counterweight assembly in a counterclockwise direction. As you rotate the counterweight, Note the gauge dial rotates with it. Continue rotating the counterweight until the 2 value on the gauge dial lines up with the center line mark on the tone arm. You now have set the recommended tracking force for the ATVM95E cartridge. If you ever change out the cartridge and head shell, you will need to rebalance the tone arm and set the tracking force to the value required by the new cartridge. The LP120X BT USB has an anti-skate force adjustment. This small outward force applied to the tone arm compensates for the natural skating force that pulls the tone arm toward the center of the record. For normal operation, set the anti-skate adjustment knob to the same value as the cartridge tracking force. The turntable includes a stylus Q light. It illuminates the record surface to assist in finding the groove in a low light situation. If needed, Plug the Q light into the chassis receptacle and aim it as desired. For best performance, the turntable should be level. Using a small bubble level, adjust the turntable's feet as needed. Connect the AC power adapter cable to the turntable and plug the adapter into a convenient AC outlet. Along with analog audio and USB outputs, the LP120X BT USB offers Bluetooth wireless connectivity. To use the turntable with another Bluetooth device, they must be paired or registered. Pairing allows devices using Bluetooth technology to recognize and communicate with one another. Once the pairing process is complete, the devices remain paired even if they are turned off. The LP120X BT-USB can be paired with up to eight compatible Bluetooth devices. 
However, it will only communicate with one other Bluetooth device at a time. Before pairing the turntable, make certain the phono line selector switch on the rear of the turntable is set to line. Position the other Bluetooth device close to the turntable. This is to make certain the pairing process performs correctly. Once paired, the devices can be separated by up to 30 feet line of sight. Turn the turntable power switch on. The red power LED illuminates and the Bluetooth LED flashes blue, indicating the Bluetooth transmitter is active and ready to pair. Activate pairing mode on the other Bluetooth device. For this scenario, a Bluetooth speaker will be used. Pressing the pairing button on the speaker causes its associated LED to blink, indicating the speaker is ready to be paired. Pressing the turntable's wireless function button begins the pairing process. The LED flashes blue-red, signifying the Bluetooth transmitter is in pairing mode. When the turntable successfully pairs, the LED turns solid blue. Most Bluetooth devices, including the turntable, will pair quickly. If the turntable does not see the other Bluetooth device after about 60 seconds, pairing mode automatically times out. If either device times out while trying to pair, simply put them back into pairing mode and repeat the pairing process. When the turntable is transmitting via Bluetooth, the Bluetooth receiving device is used to control volume and other audio-related functions. In addition to the built-in Bluetooth transmitter, the LP120XBT USB has a traditional phono output, along with a built-in magnetic phono preamp providing an RIAA equalized line level output. This makes the turntable compatible with traditional phono inputs on amplifiers and receivers, along with AUGs or line level inputs on powered speakers, amplifiers, and other audio equipment. If your audio device has its own RIAA magnetic phono preamp, simply set the phono line selector switch to phono, bypassing the turntable's internal preamp. To offer the best audio performance, the USB and Bluetooth outputs are completely removed from the signal path and will not function when the switch is set to phono. If you are connecting to an AUGS-type line-level input or powered speakers, place the selector switch in the line position to use the turntable's internal phono preamp. If your audio device has a separate ground terminal, connect the spade lugs on the dual RCA cable to the grounding lugs on the turntable and your audio component to help minimize hum. The turntable is also equipped with a USB output, allowing a digital connection to Mac and PC computers without the need for special drivers. Compatible with a wide range of third-party recording packages, the USB connection allows you to record from the turntable to the computer. Simply connect the USB cable from the turntable to an open USB port on the computer. When using the USB output, make certain the phono line selector is set to line. The turntable appears in the computer's audio device list as USB audio codec. The turntable's dust cover is designed to protect the turntable when not in use and should remain off when records are playing. For more information, visit us on the web at www.audio-technica.com.